there are a lot of guys that are disrespectful <laughs> and they don't give a damn about you or anyone really that's a big red flag hey writers welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be going over a few different traits and qualities that you should look for in a man these are just some of the things that you need to look out for when you're dating when you see a guy sometimes you could be physically attracted to someone and you could like really think they're cute or fine <laughs> and you just think that you love them i mean because of their looks but if you go deeper maybe they don't have some of these qualities that will keep you around and that you don't even realize that you need what are these things the first thing and i put this at the top of the list they're not necessarily in any type of order but i feel like this is the most important one and it is do they have respect respect is kind of a big deal if they don't respect you then how can you even be in a relationship with them or anyone for that matter in any friendship or anything there has to be mutual respect and that is physically that's mentally that's spiritually it's just in so many different ways but if a guy is not respectful to you if they don't let you speak your mind or if they get upset because you think something different or they don't respect the way that you want to dress or what you want to eat what you want to say or what you want to read or what kind of movies or tv shows you want to watch or what books you read or your religion or even just like if they're just disrespectful you get the gist pay attention to that because it's a really really great quality for a man to have so if they are respectful if they respect you in every sense of the word then I feel like that's a keeper because there are a lot of guys that are disrespectful <laughs> and they don't give a damn about you or anyone really and that's a big red flag give me a thumbs up if you agree with me and you know what I mean the second thing is you want a man who is smart right not just be knowledgeable but actually be smart like there's guys who are just like stupid you're like mm -hmm. Them. just really pay attention you know what i'm talking about not just like being able to do math and read and write and stuff like that it goes deeper than that do they have intuition are they like quick-witted you will know if they're smart and if they have intuition and you'll be able to see it being smart doesn't just mean being book savvy and book smart there's guys who could be nerds and they're knowledgeable but they're they're not street smart right so you also want someone who knows about the world and how to be out in the world and how to deal with people and that's a different type of quality you also want a man who you can have an intellectual conversation with right so if you are a smart woman smart girl and the guy that you're with can't hold an intellectual conversation with you then it's gonna be kind of hard you're gonna find it to be very frustrating don't dumb yourself down or don't settle just because you like this guy but like if he's not reaching your full potential in that sense sometimes you can have him elevate to that you have to almost be willing to see the signs like are they actually gonna grow and mature um or are they gonna be stuck there and then pull you down with them because there's been times like I was in a relationship where I felt like I was trying to go up but they were pushing me down because they weren't willing to do the work. It's just hard for you. They, they will hold you down. So be very much aware of that. Another quality that they should have is ambition. Are they ambitious? Do they want something? Now, they don't have to know exactly what they want to be, who they want to be. Do they have goals? Are they going after something? Do they want to own property? Do they already own multiple properties and they're looking to maybe get an apartment complex? Do they want to start their own business? Do they want to travel? Do they want more things out of life? Being ambitious, I believe, is a great quality. It can sometimes hurt because a lot of ambition could sometimes be bad, but if there is a good balance ambition is a great thing in a man because you really know that they are gonna want to provide for you and your children your family now lately i've been posting videos for all of you ladies but for some reason the titles catch guys attention and i have been getting kind of, kind of some slack the comment section has been pretty funny and interesting and if you're a guy and you're watching this video just relax okay like try not to judge try not to get offended by anything that i'm saying like oh my gosh what is she saying what does she mean like i know 
how it is but like i just have to lay it <laughs> straight i just have to tell it the way I, I think it and i know that it can maybe come off as rude or offensive to some of you and you might think like what what is she thinking and i just want you to know no one is perfect right it's not about perfection it's just about what you're willing to put up with and not put up with and a lot of times i'm told that i'm very lucky that i have a great guy you know how did i do it all this stuff from women and it honestly was a lot of trial and error like being in different relationships and realizing what i was willing to put up with and not put up with and knowing my worth and knowing my value and knowing what i bring to the table and then also understanding that it's a team if you're meant to be it should feel right you will know but just know what your boundaries are and don't be afraid to set boundaries and to learn from every single relationship and then apply whatever it is that you've learned to the next relationship don't do the same thing over and over again don't be with the same type of person over and over again especially if they hurt you this is a big one i feel like you don't want a lazy guy okay there are lazy men out there there's men who like don't want to put in the work don't even want to go to work they sometimes expect the woman to pay for everything um or to the point where like they want the women to pay for their half like you're paying for half of everything we're splitting the bills down the middle the mortgage down the middle everything everything down you're paying for your own car your own car insurance yes you should work and you should also contribute in some sort of way but when it comes to a guy who's gonna expect you to do everything he's a man a man is expected to provide and support their wife and their children and so if he's expecting you to do half of everything i feel like that's not really him playing that part and, and him playing that role you maybe can help with some of the bills and contribute but like if you're going out on date night have him pay for you you know so you want a man who's not lazy who's gonna go to work who's gonna make the money who's gonna make the moves like my husband is really good about picking up after himself he will pick up his plate put it in the sink okay sure i'll wash the dishes you know but at least he picked up his plate and he's not just expecting me to pick up after himself he won't just leave his clothes on the floor and expect me to get them right he puts it in the dirty clothes hamper um sometimes he will help he'll help with the dishes he'll help with washing clothes he is that kind of guy who doesn't mind helping but do i expect him to do that no but at least he helped halfway through right and he keeps his side of the bathroom clean make sure the guy is not lazy and a slob like you don't want a guy who's dirty and who's lazy laziness mm -mm -mm -mm, gotta go another quality is that they care about being well groomed that they groom themselves they care about their appearance they're not just like not caring if they don't brush their teeth for two or three days you know they're the kind of guy who puts cologne on who puts lotion on who cuts their nails who is aware if their nails are dirty or not who is aware that his hair needs to be cut that kind of thing where they care about their appearance sometimes when a guy doesn't really care about their appearance or the clothes they wear and stuff like that it's like there's something about it you're just like okay you just think you can go out into the world looking however you want but that's just not the way society works and i'm not saying that this is how society should be because i really don't think that like having being materialistic is a good thing. I don't think that's a good thing either. I think that's kind of bad. You don't want to be materialistic and you don't want a man who is materialistic because that means that's all they care about and they're way overly ambitious and they're not gonna care about you or your kids or spending the quality time that you need. But at the same time, there's you can buy like H&M shirt and have H&M jeans and look put together and look good. You know, if it's super faded or ripped or something, then you get a new one. Or if your shoes are, you know, it's time to get new ones, get new ones. That's what I'm talking about, right? So I'm not talking about someone who has to buy expensive things and always have new clothes and this and that. That's not what I mean. I'm not saying be superficial. I'm just saying be aware. Like if a guy doesn't care about his attire and his shoes or watch or his appearance in general, like shaving, just grooming himself, that's kind of a big deal, I feel like, because that's who you might end up with, right? That might be your boyfriend. Is that the boyfriend you want? Maybe not. Are you gonna wanna take him around your friends? Um, I don't know if he has ripped up shoes and stuff and like, it's just the truth. It's just the truth. And I know I sound so bad, but it's like, 
You gotta think about that kind of stuff, okay? Give me a thumbs up if you agree with me, and you know what I mean. They have to be fun. I mean, who doesn't want a fun guy, right? You want a guy who is down with everything. They're down to go travel the world. They're down to try a new restaurant. They are just, they are willing to try new things. They're not boring. I, I don't know. I just feel like this is such a great quality in a man is when they can be fun and they don't take life too serious and you can almost have an adventure with them in life. I mean, who doesn't want that? Give me a thumbs up if you agree. Oh, and I do want to say that body odor does make a big difference. So you want a guy who, when you smell them, they smell good. And I'm just not just talking about cologne. I'm talking about just their BO in general, just their body odor, their regular natural scent. You want to be attracted to that scent because it's been scientifically proven that not everyone everyone's like dna or like odor goes with each other sometimes you can smell someone and it's just not the scent for you like you, you don't like their scent and you're not attracted to it and sometimes there's someone's scent and you just love being around them and smelling them and it's just like a scientific thing but be aware of that i do want to also add that you need to find someone who is sweet okay someone who is romantic who doesn't mind going above and beyond for you who doesn't mind calling you or <laughs> treating you like a princess right they're queen you want a man who is that kind of man that kind of guy who is like i want to you know wine and dine her take her to a nice restaurant take her to the movies just treat her like a princess that is a great quality for them to have they should be sweet just so sweet and romantic and i don't know i just think that's a great quality for a man to have <laughs> now if we do want to get physical was his body made for you now i'm not saying it's perfect or anything but you know what i mean like sometimes there's girls that look like they're like the guy has to be tall there's no way i'm gonna date a short guy and then there's girls who don't care if they're with a short guy and then there's girls who don't care if they're with someone chubby or someone muscular now i'm not saying that you have to care about physically what they look like like if they have to be muscular or tall or whatnot but are you like actually physically attracted to them in the way of like well if they gain a you know a few pounds i'm still gonna like the way they look just because of their physicality you know what i'm saying so like just be aware of the physical as well because you might end up with this person for the rest of your life and you know it's just an awareness thing this is last and i feel like it is super important okay a great quality that you have to look for is their spirit do they have a good spirit like how can you tell what are you talking about spirit what okay now i know a lot of times like religion can play a part in this and i really do think that it's important whether or not you both align in that way where you're spiritually connected and aligned because you can believe in god and then he doesn't believe in god and so therefore if he doesn't believe in god then he's going to be walking maybe a different path now if he has some of these qualities that i just mentioned especially if he's honest which is a big one and i didn't really mention it but i feel like it goes hand in hand with respect because obviously if, if he's lying to you then that's disrespectful being honest is a big deal right he's being truthful and uh faithful you want someone that you can trust you want someone who is going to be faithful i mean you never know right but like that's one of the qualities that you want in a man because a lot of men aren't faithful right and so you want someone who you know has integrity who is about their word who says what they mean and mean what they say. There's so many different qualities. When I was talking about respect, I feel like a lot of things fall into that category, but I realize if one of my daughters are watching this video, uh, they probably, it's not like a black and white thing. Like I literally have to say it. Honesty, trust, integrity, their character, right? Who they are as a person really matters all of those things come into play so you definitely want a man who you can trust also who you can come to if there's ever a need in any type of situation i've learned that with each relationship i realized what i was not going to put up with 
if they were a liar or a cheater no thank you i'm on to the next if they were abusing me physically or mentally no thank you i'm on to the next if they didn't want to work and make as much as me if not more like i'm like what how is this gonna work i can't be your mom i can't be like we have to be partners in this um usually men strive for more i don't want to be sexist or anything like that like don't come after me and so i really believe that if someone isn't really walking in line and they don't really care right like that's why i love a god-fearing man because they actually care about their actions and what they do and so if you are aligned in that way where you believe in god and then you're dating a guy that doesn't believe in god or maybe they just their love for god isn't that intense or they like god but they don't know you know that kind of thing then it's almost like it's a slippery slope just because you don't know where they really are going in life you don't know really like what path they're gonna walk and go down and when they make mistakes because we're all sinners we all make mistakes no one is perfect are they gonna care enough to pray about it and to repent and to change right because sometimes we make mistakes and we have certain qualities that we want to change about ourselves but are they going to care enough to change and actually address the situation and address their flaws and grow as a person which is the next thing i want to talk about is no one is perfect okay everyone has flaws and sometimes people can change and sometimes people can outgrow their flaws and just grow right as a human being so that's not to say that you might be dating a guy and maybe he doesn't have one of these qualities but eventually he might actually become respectful. Maybe he doesn't. He was not taught what it means to be respectful. How are you respectful to someone? Oh, you have to say please and thank you. Just having manners in general, right? That kind of thing like, oh, he doesn't thank people or he doesn't call people back when he says he will or he will say that he's doing something and he doesn't do it. He doesn't have integrity, but he can work on those things. There are things that people can work on and so i'm just saying like just because they don't have some of these qualities or traits it doesn't mean that they can't learn them and that they can't grow into that kind of person but they do have to become aware and they do have to be that kind of person to where they actually want to grow and they want to change and they take constructive criticism very well and they're like oh my gosh i messed up I made a mistake, this is what I need to do next time. I need to work on myself, you know, self-reflection, that kind of thing, which I feel like is another quality. If a, if a guy actually can self-reflect and think about his actions and know how they affect his life and his relationships, stuff like that, that is a big quality to have because not a lot of guys have that. Some guys are very arrogant um, and they're just hard-headed and they're, they don't wanna understand and grow and learn, right? So a great quality is having a guy who is open-minded right who's open-minded about the world about god about life in general about living together just doing life together and someone who's willing to grow you can see that quality in someone you can see whether or not someone's rigid and they don't want to change they think they're right they think it's my way or the highway there are certain people that are like that and it's like oh my gosh run away because it's just not a good quality. Now, I think I should make a video. I did make a video on what it means to be in a toxic relationship. And I feel like some of the qualities that you want to look out for to run away from are in that video. But maybe I can make a specific video on like what to look out for. Like when you're dating, maybe, I don't know, something like bad qualities in men or something like that. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please comment down below. Also, let me know what you look for in a guy. What are the things that you are like, oh my gosh, I cannot do without these things, right? Because you have to have certain boundaries and you have to know like, okay, this is what I'm willing to put up with and this is what I'm not willing to put up with. Comment down below. Let me know your top three things. I would love to know. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Besitos.